Will Golson, listed at 6'6", <laughs> but really 6'7". He's a hard 6'7". He's, our, he's a hard 6'7". Why do they do that to you? On cl in cleats, they do the cleats thing, right? Where no, we, so I, you get measured barefoot. Okay. But every other sport, they get measured with shoes on. So I'm probably even taller than 6'7". Mm. Just saying. How are things in Tampa? Great, man. Good. Weather's great. Weather's great. Can't, can't how's, can't the how's the morale with uh, Tom Brady retirement? You know, he's a great, we're losing a great leader, a uh, great player. Did he let y'all know first? Did he let us know first? Well, or you, think, you, I, you I, found I out on the beach? I <laughs> found out when everybody else found out. But <laughs> end of the day, I'm extremely happy for him, you know? Mm -hmm. Great guy. What's yeah. your uh, comment on the, the infamous picture that he posted the other day in the underwear? He posted a picture. In you didn't oh, see yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, seen bro. For the brand. Have you tried those? No. You Sell me this pen. No, you got to try the draws, man. Underwear. They're good? Uh, it's a lot of, man, like comfort. Okay. I've hooping them. Okay. I went hooping in them. No chafe and none of that stuff. And it's good for big man. Hey, you know, no chafe life is a safe life. You feel me? Yeah. Like Gold Bond. Yeah. Sponsor us, finally. <laughs> <laughs> You're on here uh, uh, on behalf of the American Cancer Society. Um, it's near and dear to your heart. Uh, your mother's survivor, correct? Um, tell us about what's going on right now with uh, the, the society and, and everything that we're trying to create awareness for. So ACS is just trying to create awareness so you can get screened in just the, the areas where it's not necessarily a lot. It's not yep. proper. So, like, when I grew up, where I grew up, it wasn't oh necessarily okay to go see the doctor, go get screened, go get checked out, be more aware, be more healthy. I think my father, in my opinion, passed away because he didn't have the awareness to stop it. We found uh, stage four cancer. So if uh, we found it earlier, it would be a lot more easier yeah. to handle. You know, or we'd just be more prepared. Right. So I partnered with ACS because they're trying to push the same thing that I want to push. That's knowledge and awareness. Damn, uh, man. I, I lost my grandfather. My grandmother has it right now. Sorry to hear yeah, thank you. It's, it's, it's tough. It is. Yeah, but I think we were talking about it yesterday. Like, they were, they're fine. I think they found a cure of a certain type of cancer. I don't remember which one. I didn't look it up. I think they're kind of getting to a place where things are going a lot better, honestly. The research that I've been able to see. Yeah, they like I've seen firsthand research, been to the labs in Washington. Some of the plans that they're coming up with now are insane. And the turnover rate is being great. Like, it's just a high. Some of them are in experimental right now. Mm. Uh, but they have one where they shrink the cancer. Like, they microdose, basically get it all the way down. They don't eradicate it. They yeah. Get it all the way down lower your levels and then your body kind of builds its own type of immunity to it and oh i totally I really yeah wish i had like the exact no i kind of but i get what you're saying because yeah. i mean i've not to, mean to get into it what happens if it, when it metastasizes and goes everywhere yeah that's when it's like super dangerous if you kind of centralize it and neutralize it mm -hmm. and keep it in a certain spot or like like you're saying shrink it yeah make it more manageable that's awesome man yeah, yeah. all right well talk to us what's next for the buccaneers what are you guys going to do at quarterback, you think? Is a guy on the roster? Trask, Gabber? You never know. This is a vet, you, bro. You, you never know. <laughs> but um, one thing I can say about the organization, they yeah. always come to the next season prepared. They know how to find the guy. If we have the guy, they know how to prepare him. And we know how to just keep moving, keep it pushing, and hopefully continue the path of playoff entrance. Okay. We were actually debating this last night. Mm -hmm. You said an emphatic yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Listen. Mike Evans Hall of Fame. Of course. No question. But have you seen the stats? But I am with the stats. Don't lie. Stats don't lie. And it's consistent. He's is he better? Field. Here's a better question. Is he better than the stats? Yes. Right? The stats don't do it justice, bro. The stuff that he can do, like you can see it on film. He, he can take over a game. He yeah. took over a game. Yeah. You know? And he double coverage. Somebody's always got to be open because you can't leave him open. You yeah. Leave him open. He's going to dominate. You double cover him. He's still going to be the. And he would have had at least five more touchdowns that season that uh, Jameis threw 30 picks because, you know, if Jameis had the eye surgery before that, like, you know, maybe there's five less picks there. And maybe you don't get Tom Brady, though, either. That is, you know. It's crazy how it works. Yeah. You know? How does the bling feel? Has it, has it even hit you yet? I mean, it's been no. a couple years. Why aren't you rocking the bling? You know, I'll leave it. Uh, it's, it's in, I have it in a nice, safe case. Okay. You know, Why? I'm with you. you I know, would I, never I, take that I out. I was a replica. But I was like, nah, it's just taking away. It's real or nothing. Yeah. 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 How was that night for you when you guys like received the rings? I can be honest, I've never told you guys. I had a little bit of champagne party at the end of the, of the game. I, I kind of fell asleep in my locker and I woke up. <laughs> Last one in the locker room. No way. Went out and went to the party. They all left you. No one bothered. I left me too. No one bothered to wake you up. Like, yes, Alex, Yo, Will. Alex, uh, 
uh, one of the uh, equipment room dudes. <laughs> he wakes up, hey, Will, you know the bus is about to leave. I was like, oh, yeah, thanks, bro. Because I had to take a quick nap, bro. I was, I was. Bro, think about this. Realistically, mm-hmm. you go to a party, college, whatever, with your boys. Your biggest friend passes out drunk. You, you know, leave like, him. You you leave him. Like I, I'm not getting this guy up. Like, are you the biggest guy on the roster? Yeah. No. Big Tristan Wars. Oh big no, big never guy. mind, bro. Yeah. That dude is massive. Big country. He's going to be a future Hall of Famer. How, I don't get how he fell to y'all. And no shake on like Andrew Thomas or any of the other guys drafted. I, I don't care how it happened. I'm glad it happened because I get to go against this dude every day. I'm like, Iron right, Sharp is iron, right? Though. He's going to be an animal. What about some of the other guys you've played with? Uh, who, are, who are some guys you've modeled your game after? I mean, who are some guys that you're working with now that are younger? I could tell you who I got my work ethic from. Okay. Or when I really started to build my work. Clint McDonald. He's okay. He's a vet. He won the Super Bowl with the Seahawks. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. Us. And, like, I'm a young dude, you know, out doing stupid stuff, not understanding the professionalism of the game. I talked to Clint. He was there for a few years, and he really showed me how to work. He showed me how to be a professional, showed me how to walk, talk, all of the extra stuff. Outside of the game, like being able to have this, hold this interview with you guys, yeah, be myself but also be professional at the same time. Totally, he's the one that showed me all that. Okay, that's awesome. I mean, honestly, it's how because you've been there how long? Ten, Ten years. Mm-hmm. So you're oh, one of the more career. veteran guys in the roster yeah. as far as like tenures been there. How is it with like there's a lot of changeover with the rosters the past couple of years? How important is it to be kind of like maybe an ambassador to the team, like welcoming these guys in? For me, uh, I like it's kind of what my role is. Yeah, as a, as a vet. Being able to be a locker room guy. Yep. Uh, my message I try to overall deliver to each rookie is it's no longer college because I didn't. I had guys in the room, but I was like a hundred percent competing to try to take their job as a younger dude, and they didn't have the same mindset I had. Like the, the guys that come in, you here to take my job. Once you take the job, your job is to keep the job. It's yep. not to make it to the NFL. It's to make it in the NFL. Mm. I try to pass that to every rookie, no matter he's my position or anybody else's position, because. A lot of vets not going to tell you, hey, bro, your job is to come take my job. You, you got to work harder. Right. But the harder you work, the harder I have to work. Yeah. Which makes us a better No, team. no one's going to be real like that, realistically. Oh, I'm real like that. You I are? Why not? Because I'm not, not going to last You got to keep it real. The better a guy, like a guy behind me, he comes in, he starts balling when I'm gone, I can always say, hey, I showed that rookie what to do. I, I told him this. And then you keep your friend. I mean, you've been, again, with this franchise for so long, yeah. and then you put them in a better position. Exactly. It's, it's, I think. I feel like the like the organization has been loyal and committed to me. So totally, I mean, how can I pay it for it? You're a Bucks fan for life now, right? I wouldn't say a Bucks fan for life because I gotta wait. I think my kids are gonna be able to play in the NFL. Oh, well, there you go. You know, I got three little boys. Three? Like yeah, and the youngest is a my, my my three year old is bigger than my five year old, and my ten year old is up to I don't know. Is he five something? I think they told me he was five. He was. I was like, no, that's no way. So this is a, this is the next Watt family coming, coming oh, for coming, coming to the league. We coming. I, I hope so. How did your did your dad play at all? My dad didn't play. My cousin played. Okay. He was drafted uh, six overall. Pick Vernon. Vernon. Go. Oh yeah. Oh H. He he's a. Sorry, I know you're Michigan State. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I think Don't we can agree. agree. Yeah, Sparty Party, bro. Where are you from? Where, 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 where we went to Texas. Where we went to Texas. Texas by grew up yeah. a Buckeye fan. That's what's up. Yeah. I was a Vince Young fan. Are we, all? Are we all? Yeah, Are we all? Are we all? So yeah, that's what happened. Too. It's all good. Yeah, dude. Honestly, Vernon was drafted by the Jets, right? Mm-hmm. Six overall. I remember yeah. that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. How impactful was he to you? Not necessarily as impactful as I wanted, you know. But I can't say this. One of the most motivational pieces, pieces in my career. Really? Yeah. Because I always had to not get caught in the shadow. You know what I'm saying? Because he was an yeah. animal. He Stud. Was an animal in college. That's one of the reasons I didn't He's want to six go. overall pick. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was a freak of nature. So, and he did teach me a lot. I remember um, as he was in the league, we did a camp together when mm. I was going to the league, and he dropped the gym on me. Okay. I can't tell it to you guys because it's, it's a gym, but it, I hold it true and near to my heart for real. It's really been able to something I could lean back on and push myself whenever I'm tired and all that stuff. Really? Why can't you tell us? It's his personal motivation. Yeah, man, right? I know, but I want to be motivated I now. I going to watch this one if they take it, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Like, ah, try to use it against me. Try to use it against yeah. you. All right, who, who's some of the favorite tackles you've got? Our guards, centers, anybody on the offensive line you've gone against? i tell you the toughest, Carl Nix. Really? Carl Nix. I don't know if you guys knew Carl Nix. Yeah. He went to Nebraska. He's yeah. the longest human being. First 
double team I ever got was Carl Nix and Donald Penn. Oh, Penn's a beast. Big boy. Massive dude. Big. How'd big the big. double team feel? I don't know. It was bad. Man. bad. Yeah, but don't, isn't there like kind of like a feeling of like, oh, damn, they're double teaming me. Like, I'm nice. No, it was Never? practice. <laughs> it was practice. It was my first day of practice. <laughs> I had no idea. I went from college to this. Yeah. So, um, but I want to say I enjoyed going against a battle of those dudes. Toughest running back I ever tackled was Marshawn Lynch, hands down. How big? How big is he? He's not even that big. He's just a uh, solid He's a dude. wrecking ball. Really? Solid. I, so I thought I had him dead to rights. We were there in Seattle. Yeah. I, I had a nice TFL. I'm like, yeah, Ricky Gear, TFL, yeah. Marshawn. And I looked down, and I see my head bouncing in a little turf pebbles, and he running for like five yards. It's insane. How, when you play with Gronk, yeah. how, good of a blo- how good of a blocker is he? Everyone talks about – we talk about blocking all the time, like a six offensive lineman, right? Yeah. It's also a man, and he's one of the goop. Like he's, we know we see him walk there. Yeah, but you know he's smiling at you. Snap the ball, and you see him like, hey, this dude is smiling, smiling. and just trying to block me at the same time. Come on, get serious. But no, That's he's a, he's a freaking nature. Bro. I've been blessed to be able to play with so many Hall of Fame caliber people. Hell yeah, yeah, players, amazing, awesome. I know you didn't ask, but Levante David, definitely. What Dude, I mean, I, 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 I could. I, they sleeping on him. I could go on and on about like Pierre Paul, Devin White, Sue, yep. man. you. Yes. Like, I mean, honestly, the, the guys in the defensive backfield that get like no, your DB field gets no credit. Winfield Jr. is a stud. Like, all these guys are absolute beasts. It feels good to hear it, man. I, I didn't say it, they said it, but I, I got gotta, you, bro. I gotta give Bonte a shout out. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's the real deal. Two more questions for you. We ask this question to every single guest we've ever had on our show. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite sports memory ever? And this could be from you as a player or a fan, doesn't matter. Anything. Um, anything, Armour, anything in life, American skill challenge. I won it when I was in high school. Okay, yeah, I love that. That was fun. That's pretty was sick. That uh, it was in Tampa, okay, it was Tampa, Florida. It, it was full all meant to be. Full circle, all- baby. Full right. right. circle. Last yeah. question we're asking everyone today this question mm-hmm. Who's your crush in high school? The celebrity crush, and just non and the real crush. one. <laughs> Who's the real one? <laughs> Who's the real one? Give her a shout out. Oh man, boy, oh, 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 wow. High school? Yeah. Oh, celebrity crush? Rihanna. No, both. Rihanna's celebrity, celebrity and then crush. and then still to this day. Um, crush in high school. Man, no, nah, I don't want to give her no shine. <laughs> she knows who she is. Initials. Give her initials. I'm not giving you no shine. <laughs> you know exactly who you, you are. know who you are. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Will Golson, thank you so much for joining. Pleasure, oh, champ. Man, good you. man. I'm glad you had a good time, Thanks, brother. Bro.